Hello, welcome back to another video. Today's video we are going to be looking at this. This is an antique virtually. It is the Roland Sticker SX15. It is the the 15 inch version, which is why it's called the 1.5, there was also a 12 and I believe there was an 18 of this little cutter. It's um, not the easiest of things to get going. Uh, as today is uh, January 2018, we've had to install a computer with Windows XP, original version, and then update Windows XP, which has been an absolute nightmare, just to try to get this going. But we've got it going, it's working to some extent, so we're going to do a little vid on it, and we'll explain things, and we'll show you around it. So, first things first, let's take a look at the cutter itself. As I said, it's the 15 inch version. What that basically means is that it's got a cutting area of the 15 inches. Now, the carriage is longer, because obviously it has to allow for the movement of... Um, the actual blade in there. So to one side here you've got the adjustment and as you turn around that that turns around the rollers inside to push the vinyl either backwards or forwards. Over to here you've got the power light so that means that you've got some power in there and on this side here you've got the power button. You just press that once to turn it on if you press and hold it for three seconds I believe it is. I'll be able to show you this all in a minute. It will do the test cut and you'll get a piece of vinyl that comes out. Okay, turning it all the way around to the back, you can see we have got the power lead. This isn't the original power lead. When I got this it came with one of these little bricks where you can choose the power and that only went up to 12 volts. Um, it would turn on but it wouldn't work very well. But if you have a look just in there, really, really hard to actually see. I don't know if that's even picked it up there. It does say it needs 19 volts. So I was able to get this one from a laptop charger, which again is one of the multi change its heads to whatever you want ones. But it works, and that's all that really matters at the end of the day. And then here you have got the parallel printer port. Obviously, as always with these kind of things, we recommend using high quality cables. That's a Balkin cable in there. And on the bottom, it has got four little feet, a model, SX15, the serial number, and it's made by Roland. Okay, so let's put it back down again. Turn around. So at the front, uh, this line here is caused by a person who at one point in its life actually put some tape over it and it looks like that uber strong, horrible, nasty, sticky stuff that doesn't ever come off no matter what you try to do. Uh, we've tried elbow grease and a couple of other things on there but none, none of it's worked. So at the front you've got this flap, and the flap lifts up and you can see underneath. So what you've got here is you've got the bar with the wheels that clamp down onto the vinyl. You've got the bar at the back here which is where the cutter, which is in there, travels up and down. You've got a screw just here and you undo that a little bit and that allows you to take out your blade carrier which is just there. So that then drops back in. No adjustment on that, it just goes back in until it goes up to that collar there and then you tighten it back up again. Now that obviously moves up and down because it has to bring the blade up and down as it goes along and cuts. To either side you've got two plastic clips. If you pull them down that means it's now locked in place and any vinyl that's in there you won't be able to pull out. If you lift them up you can then adjust your vinyl that's in there. Now what you've got over here, let's look at the, it with the tape measure, you'll see that between that roller and that roller, these are the two rollers that hold it in place and that actually move it backwards and forwards. These other little white ones, they don't actually do anything other than just holding it in place. They don't 
do any kind of like a movement or anything like that. So if you look between that and that, you would see that you would need to have vinyl with a width of at least 14 inches, 36 centimeters to be able to fit in there. Now these are the standard rolls that we use and they come in widths of either 30, 38, 60 and uh, 1,000, um, no, 120 centimetres, yeah, not millimetres. Okay, so because of that, you would see that if we were to put that in there now, it would only be clamped down on the one roller at the side here. It would only be clamped down on that one, that one wouldn't miss. So what Ro Roland have done is they've put this little spacer bar in, and that spacer bar lifts out. like so, you can see it's got that gap at the back there you can then slide that one across to the other roller, if I zoom in you'll be able to see the rollers there you can see where it's just slightly checked there on that little silver piece that's the actual roller itself and you've got one if we travel along and you've got one just down in there as well so yeah, if we push that along, and zoom back out, 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 there we go. If we zoom back out again, there you go. See, so we can slide that along, and we can put that in place, like so. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put some of the vinyl in there, um, and I will explain how to do the test cut. Now, this isn't the same as our other vinyl cutters, which take all the vinyl at the back, and then you feed it through, clamp it down, and it pulls through what it needs. This takes it at the front. It won't take rolls straight in like this. Uh, it's easier if you cut it into sheets. And the largest sheet length it will take is one meter. So um, I'll slice a piece off of this and then we'll go forward from there. So as I said before, with the bar raised, we can slide vinyl underneath like that. Now the references on this to line it up aren't very good at all. Um, there basically isn't really anything other than looking down this side here to try to get it square and lined up. If I was going to keep this and if I was going to use it, there's a big hint there as to what I'm actually going to do with it, um, I would put a mark in down there that I know would be straight. Well, I'd put one down there. It doesn't really matter either side just so as I know. So once the vinyl's in, drop down side bits and your vinyl's locked in place. Uh, you, the cutter's there, everything's in place, so you just drop down that bit there. Then if you press and hold on the power button just at the side here, I need to turn it on first, don't I? Right, so now I've turned it on, I'm going to press and hold the button. And what it's done there is what it calls the test cut. So if we grab it out, I don't know if you'll be able to see it there. Let's try and zoom this in to get it so as you can actually see it on the screen there. There you go. It's not the greatest. The blade in there I know isn't the greatest. But what that's meant to be is a little Christian cross, as if it were, for want of any better words, inside a square. Now the blade on this isn't the greatest, as I said, so obviously it's hooked up that little piece there and it's pulled it across. But that's the test cut that it does on there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do another cut but I'm going to do it from the Dr. Sticker program um, which is the one that's used by Roland so if I bring you up oh, please ignore the the condiments over to the side there I am filming this on the dining room table because I haven't got anywhere else to film on just at the minute new sign shop coming soon but there we go so what I've got up here on the screen is the Dr. Sticker program I am going to do another video which is going to be all about the Dr. Sticker program because trying to get that to work in 2018 has been 
great fun as well. So what we're going to do is we are going to cut that. I'm just going to. Oh no, I don't like to do that. You see how the blade is ending up further and further and further over. I don't know yet, and I haven't looked how to return it all the way back to the start without turning it off and sliding it along like so. There must be a way of doing it, there must be a button somewhere, it can't just end there. So I'll do that, then I'll plug it back in, turn it back on, I'll move that in just a little bit further so as we get past that little mistake I just made. Right, so now that's in, I don't know if you can see it up on the screen now, if I just unclip you for a second, there we go, move you in, do it by hand. So that's what we're going to cut, the web address for the website basically, and that is on the Dr. Sticker Plus program, running on Windows XP, um, because I can get it to run on Windows 10 or Windows 7. So yeah, I'm going to click that, I'm going to click to print, that's then going to print it, and I'm not going to speed it up or anything, I'll do it in its normal time, so as you'll be able to get a rough idea as to how slow, I mean quick, this um, actual vinyl cutter is. Uh, we can't make any adjustments to anything, we can't change the speed of it, we can't change the pressure of it, um, it's all built in, it's going to do its own thing basically. So let's click OK, and there we go. Okay, so there we go, that was that, um, highly entertaining as it was. So that wasn't sped up or anything, that was done at the normal running time. Now to get the vinyl out, because it's sliding it through and all of the cut stuff is over the other side, we're going to lift up these grips again and then we're just going to basically pull the vinyl out. And if I go and get my vinyl weeding tool, we can then weed this and I can show you what it's got. Like I said, it's not the greatest blade in there at all in the world. I haven't found any options in there to do anything like a weed or weed each copy, anything else like that. So we are taking it as a whole. Um, I'm sure you could just add a square around it. Um, and obviously that's cut so well. Where is it? There. Yeah, that blade has cut so well that it hasn't even gone through the vinyl, which is absolutely fantastic. Just when you want it to cut in the video and it decides not to. But you saw how it cut earlier with the um, the test cut. That's gone through okay. But no, it hasn't gone through at all on that cut. Oh well, not to worry. Yeah, that could be down to, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know to be honest, but to be fair, if you're using this cutter today, you are using old equipment on an old system, this one needs a new blade in it without a shadow of a doubt. Um, it's running in 2018, it is not any kind of the production unit, you wouldn't want to be running a hundred of anything through it, you might want to run one or two if you're doing a gift for someone or if you're doing one t-shirt every month for your own cupboard or something you might want it for that or a little crafty project but anything else for anybody who's slightly kind of like serious about getting into any kind of decals vinyl signs anything this is not the piece of kit you want you want to go up from here this is old um, and yeah we're going to be selling it uh, we're not going to be keeping it 
So yeah, as I said, this is just about the cutter. I'm going to do another one about the Dr. Sticker Plus, uh, which is running on Windows XP. And uh, that will be coming out very soon as well. Or if you've already watched this one, it will be in one of them their boxes or the links that appear somewhere. So yeah, cheers for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Give us a thumbs down if you didn't. Let us know why if you give us a thumbs down. Leave a comment down below. Um, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.